how to add text in Premiere Pro. Let's get into it. The first thing that we need to do is come down to the text icon right here. And then we just simply need to come up to our program monitor and click anywhere within this monitor. That is going to create a text box. Then we need to add some text to the text box. So for this example, I'm going to write explore the city. So with that written, we can then go ahead and further customize this piece of text. We can do this by going into the essential graphics menu. Now, if you don't see this, don't worry. You can simply go up to window and go down to essential graphics and you will get this exact same window that I have right here. Now there are a bunch of different customization options within this window. I'm going to take you through some of the key options. Feel free to fully explore this with your own projects. Okay, so to begin with, we can see that my text is kind of coming off the side here. Now to fix this, all I need to do is center align this text. We can do this by coming down to the text part and choosing center align, and then coming up to align and transform, and then choosing align center horizontally and align center vertically. That is going to make sure our text stays in the center of our shot. There are also other tools that you can use within the align and transform, such as the horizontal movement and the vertical movement as well. You can also change the scale of your text in this panel. And you can also change the opacity of your text in this panel. And there is also, of course, the rotation if you want to get crazy with your effects. Okay, if we then move down to the text part of this panel, now this is the panel where we can fully configure our text. So say for example, if you don't like the font that Premiere Pro has by default, you can simply just select the text and then come into the font drop down menu and you can change it to a different font that you prefer. I'm actually going to revert that because I do like the monster app font. Let's say for example, if we don't like the size of our font, we can just simply change this by moving the slider up or down, or you can enter in a figure of how big you want your text to be. You can also change the alignment. So we've got left align, central and right align. I'm going to put that back to central. And then there is also the ability to space out the letters here. If you need to change the spacing between two lines, let's say, for example, if I have two lines of text here, and I want this space to be bigger, we can just select our text and this is the option that will allow us to make the text close or a little bit more spread out like so. And then also at the bottom here, you have your typical bold, italics, capitals, small capitals, etc. within here. Again, feel free to fully explore all of these options for your own project. The next part of the essential graphics is the appearance of your text. So the fill, the stroke, the background, the shadow, etc. So let's say, for example, you don't like the color that your text is. Again, you just need to select the text layer, go into fill, and you can change the color of this text to be any color that you want it to be. Now, I quite like white as titles, so I'm just going to keep that as white for my project. For creating a stroke, you just simply need to click into this stroke box. Let's make this stroke black so that we can see what we're working with here. And then this figure right here is the figure we need to increase or decrease to make our stroke. As you can see there, it went a little bit crazy. So if we just bring it to about there, that looks a little bit more reasonable for this project. I'm just gonna turn this off for right now. You can also add a background to your text. So if we click this, it adds a background to the entire piece of text. Now let's say, for example, if I want this to be black and I want it to be a little bit more transparent, I want it to come out a little bit more. So this option will make it bigger or smaller. So let's make this a little bit bigger and we can even round the corners of that as well. So if I just click out of this so that we can see what we're working with here, it's put a little box around our text there. So let's come back into this background. I'm just going to turn this off right now. And the final thing in the appearance is the shadow. Now I do like to put a shadow on my titles. And what I'm going to do is just zoom in a little bit just so that we can see the text a little bit better. So if I just disable this, this is what the uh, text layer looks like beforehand. And then this is what the text layer looks like afterwards. Now, if you want to configure this, this slider configures the opacity of the shadow on the text. This figure configures the distance 
of the shadow as we can see it's getting far away and it's coming back this slider configures the spread of our text as we can see it's spreading more spreading less let's put that about here and then this slider right here configures the softness of that shadow so if you only want a subtle shadow you can ramp this all the way up if you want quite a harsh shadow you can bring this all the way down now, while we have configured all of this, if at any point during our project, we want to come back into this to configure this text, it's just a simple case of clicking into your text layer again, going into the essential graphics, clicking on that text, and all of these options will be available for you to continue to customize this text layer. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and comment your thoughts below. And for more creative fix tutorials, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.